All right, first up this morning is the hottest competition in the city, and it gets bigger and better every single year. More than 5,000 people will pack it in at WMSE's Rockabilly Chili Benefit. This year, there will be more than 50 different chilies from Milwaukee's best restaurants and fire departments, too. That's right. We are here with DJ Johnny Z and Lieutenant Harold Johnson, Lieutenant Michael Ball. All of them are here to tell us about it. And um, did you guys know that today is National Chili Day? Did you know that? I did not. But it truly is. That is a know. real thing. Lunch. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, I'm going to turn you a little Yeah, we're going to get you guys all oh, closer me. together. Okay. There you go. Just so, And you guys all move in Scooch so we can right. see you. There we go. Okay. All right. all right. Good to see you guys. So let's talk about this. Um, we heard that there's a pro tip for people when you go to a chili event that you're supposed to bring your own muffin tin. Have you heard that before? Absolutely. <laughs> no way. Yep. I've never heard that. <laughs> it's our, for all the samples, right? You can put the little oh, cups in it. Oh, does that work? Yeah, at our event, there are over 50 chilies. So if you want to get a bunch and sit down, you're going to need a muffin tin. Um, typically, we sell them at the uh, events for people that do forget to bring them, but they will be available. You even sell them. See, what I do is I'd use a couple extra cups for exactly this. A little bit of cheese, yeah. a little bit of, onion, <laughs> My toppings. A little bit of sour cream, all the toppings. Well, you can do that too. Yep. So who makes the best chili? You got it from the restaurants or you got it from the fire department? Well, that's good. hard to say. <laughs> the, the firefighters definitely can compete with any of the restaurants. Their chili is great. I've heard firefighters in general are phenomenal cooks. Exactly. Yes. They take turns cooking for each other. Exactly. But um, you know, there's over 50 restaurants. There's a firefighters. There are two different sub. There's two different uh, competitions. So okay. we have a competition for best heat, best meat, uh, most unique, best display, um, veggie, and that's for the restaurants. And then the uh, there's an inter competition between the firehouses, if I'm not mistaken. I like that. Yeah. Best cool. heat, best meat. Yep. I like that. All, All right, right, guys. What is up with firefighters and being good cooks? Because Tiff makes a great point. You do always hear that. <laughs> well, I would say most of us, uh, you, get, you get the opportunity to do it every day you're in the firehouse. So yeah. uh, um, I've certainly cooked at a number of firehouses in my career. And so, uh, and you learn from other firefighters that have been doing it for a while too. So it, it certainly has helped me. You get tips from the, from the other firefighters. I, I like that. Are you, are either of you entering chili in the competition? I am. You are, I okay. Am. What's the, what is your, like, what's your type of chili? What's the secret So I loved smoked brisket. Yeah. So, and Doc's Yum. Smokehouse uh, actually helped us out with, uh, um, with uh, some brisket for this uh, competition. So, um, but yeah, I have lots of smoked brisket, which is, I think, an uh, uh, important uh, ingredient to have in chili. Key. I always think it's just fascinating when people talk about sort of things you wouldn't expect in chili, like mm. cocoa powder, yeah. for example. People chocolate talk bar. about yep, a chocolate bar, brown sugar, a beer things like that. Is there anything you can share about any secret ingredient that's in your chili? Uh, yes, I actually, uh, this chili is made with Pinot Noir. Uh, oh, no way. That's my kind of chili. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, what do you think? When you walk around, are you tasting all the chilies too? Taste. Are you yes, actually I one am. of the judges yes, too? Yes, I love, I love to eat, obviously. I'm a fireman, so yep. um, I go around and taste everything and, and it's really unique. Go ahead, you can right. serve up. All right, you guys, you can taste right. it. What about for kids? I assume this is a kid family friendly event that you can kind of come and feed the whole family. It is, we have artists in, working in education that will be doing arts and crafts with the kids. There's Wonderful. chili pepper races, kind of in the Thanks. spirit of the um, Brewers sausage races. Yeah, um, chili pepper races, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, there they go, <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So they race a few times through the day. It and, smells uh, delicious. Um, music and- Oh, they don't get to taste it? They can if Just they us. Want. We'll, Just us. we'll be the judge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Go ahead. Oh, that's very there's good. There's live music this year by the Dick Satan Trio. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be spinning records along with my uh, cohort, Isn't that good? D Mark Dietrich. So, yeah. There's a lot of things for people. All and, right, uh, that's what I like to hear. Yummy. This is delicious. Mm. It's got a perfect, like, smoky flavor. It's real warm. I think that's the thing with chili. Everybody loves a chili event because you truly get like this warmed up. It's a fun event. There's so many fun things to do. So many fun people that come out. Um, the fundraiser, what are the funds for? When people come and they pay to be there, where does the money go? Well, WMSC is a community sponsored radio station. So we, we rely on our listeners and this is one of our biggest fundraiser of the year. In addition to that, there's also a co-drive and Please. that's a, your event and that's um, Warm up winter. Firefighters put on. Yeah, yeah. tell us the warm up, right? Yes, warm up winter is a uh, coat drive initiative that Milwaukee Fire Department has done for the last eight years where we go out and solicit money to buy uh, brand new coats for our inner city kids. Is that when we see firefighters on the street with the boot? That and is you're, correct. Uh, you know, like uh, uh, right out on the streets. I see, I've seen on water where I drop yeah. a dollar in or whatever. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everyone from the uh, head chief all the way across the board to our newest recruits are out on the corner soliciting 
to purchase brand new Colts. That is I wonderful. That. What a that cool is drive. Fantastic. Yeah. Now this is happening Sunday, March 10th. Yep. It draws tons and tons of people. Are you Next hoping Sunday. that people will register for the Chili Fundraiser in advance? Well, advance tickets are available still. Okay. Otherwise, you can show up. It runs from 11 to 4, so if people are cycling in and out throughout the day. Uh, or come and stay all day and eat twice. <laughs> eat at 11 and then maybe you got at 3. Uh, come back and mop it up at the end. Yeah. Now, it is daylight savings time that, that day, oh. so be sure to spring forward. But uh, There you go. And what does a muffin tin cost? I Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I think that is a fascinating idea. Here's the deal. The Rockabilly Chili Fundraiser is happening Sunday, March 10th. You can get tickets in advance from 11 to 4. It's at the MSOE Kern Center. Here's the website to go to for more information, WMSE.org. And remember, it is daylight saving time, so make sure you set your clock to the right time and go and spend a little time and, and bring money, too. Yeah. Yes, bring Great money. Great coat drive. Thanks for your service, Absolutely. you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much.